What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? It's your guy, what's good? Or Randy, hope you are having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. Hey, you guys. Hi, my waiver backers. I love you guys. I missed you so much. Mm, thank you so much for staying here with me, you guys. I've been out of town almost two weeks, you guys. I miss y'all so much. If you're new to the channel, Welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here. Thank you so much. Also, click that like and subscribe button. Mm -hmm. It's down there. Yeah, it doesn't cost you anything. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just not two middle fingers. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group. That group is called Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. If I can't answer a question here, somebody over there is going through what you're going through. Okay, those are some question answering people. And if nobody told you they love you today, I do. Skinny Boy Randy loves you. Also, check out my Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, you guys. Yes, click all of this and share with all your social media. I love you guys. Thank you so much. We're growing, and it's just amazing. I love having you here. I appreciate you. Also, check out the Randy and Ronald arguing arguing traveling channel it's a new channel you guys i'll try to leave the link in the description and it's just me going on my trips taking you along outside of the garden and showing you a little bit of my life and what i'm doing when i'm not in the garden so thank you make sure you click uh like and subscribe over there at ronald and randy travels okay all right you guys let's just dive right into this video wanted to make a quick video for you about what you still can plan in september you guys it's not too late it is almost too late but you can start right now First week of September, you guys, the earlier the better, the first half of September, here are some things that you can get in the ground. Let's start off with things that you want to start with uh, by transplant, okay? Things like your cauliflower, you want to start those indoors. You should have already started them. If not, just stop by your local nursery and pick you up some starter plants because it's going to take a while for them to germinate. And you want to make sure the frost doesn't come before you know, they germinate and just kills them off. Also, check the farmer's almanac. You can Google your first frost date. Just type in your um, your zip code or your city and state, and it'll give you your first frost date. And what that means is that's around an estimate of when the first frost is going to hit the ground and, and um, things will be frozen. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to go ahead and get your cauliflower, your broccoli. All these are transplants cabbage kohlrabi you want to make those uh put those in the ground as transplants okay so we got that out of the way now for seeds that you can direct sow into your garden right now some of them are going to uh, grow some of them are going to grow a little bit and then they'll go dormant in winter and then you'll have a big huge harvest in the spring so let's just dive right into some of these things that you can be planting in your garden from seed parsley I like to sprinkle parsley like in the corners of my beds and just let them go. Just let it go. And they'll grow up on their own. They'll grow when the temperatures are appropriate for them. But you can just drop you some seeds of some parsley or if you just want to make a parsley bed in uh, some containers or buckets. Or um, if you're doing container garden, great plant to put in uh, a bucket. Cilantro, another great plant. When uh, I would put these in pots, just like uh, the parsley, put them in a container. So if a really hard frost comes, I can move them into the garage and put them near a sunny window indoors if you want, because they'll make a great house plant during the winter. And you'll have fresh uh, parsley and cilantro all winter long. So try them in some pots. Yes. Lettuce. Lettuce is a very cold, hardy crop. You guys, I like to plant lettuce in uh, multiple locations. It makes a great filler, and it also tastes good fresh in your salads. So lettuce can take the frost a licking and keep on ticking. I'm checking on Princeton. But yes, you guys, make sure you get all types of lettuces in the ground. Um, Specifically, if you can find cool weather lettuce, like iceberg and stuff like that. Go ahead and get you some lettuce planted. I like to do these in my little tripod stackables. I like to put them around there. They look really nice when they bloom. Also, get you some carrots in the ground, you guys. Drop you some carrots in a certain area. If you want to put them in containers, you can go ahead and do that right now. And they are very frost tolerant. And you should have some carrots uh, in about 70 days. All right, kale. One of my favorite greens to eat, you guys. I love kale greens. You can get these directly sown in the ground along with your uh, kale greens, your uh, arugulas, your um, uh, collard greens. Yes, you guys, we want food for Thanksgiving and Christmas, so we're going to grow our own. 
yes so those are some seed packets that i don't have in hand but yes collard greens and arugula they are great to grow uh also your root vegetables your beets these are great to grow right now they don't take long and they are about 55 to 60 days and that's about how much time we have before our expected first frost and then we have the turnips get you some turnips in the ground they're only 40 days to maturity radishes they grow super duper fast you guys don't plant them too deep a lot of people say always get the, the leaves and no radish but um yeah don't plant your seeds that deep you guys yeah they're very easy to grow sprinkle you a row and then thin them out later you really don't have to thin them they'll uh just compact themselves but if you want them to be bigger you can thin them out so yeah make sure you get your radish and then last but not least spinach now your spinach is going to take a little bit to germinate and grow but once it does if the snow comes or if the frost hits it'll just sit there and then in a few months believe it or not that spinach is still alive under under in the ground and it's going to just sprout back out in the spring and you don't have to redo the seeds like everybody else is going to be doing that didn't plant them any spinach before the winter hit you'll have to start your spinach from beginning but yeah spinach will take the frost and keep on ticking you guys broccoli also take the frost it snowed on my broccoli last year no problem at all no problem at all you may get a few burnt tips on your lettuce but that's about it so i hope this just helps you out a little bit you know it's not much but somebody is going through what you're going through and wanted to know what can they plant in the month of september yes you guys i just had a celebrated my birthday uh september the third thank you thank you for all the birthday love you guys believe it or not i turned 48 years old yes you guys thank you so much for all the birthday love i had a wonderful birthday trip uh make sure you check out my birthday vlog video i'm taking you right along on my entire birthday trip so i love you guys thank you so much don't forget to check out the facebook group instagram twitter leave a thumbs up on the video you guys click like and subscribe it really really would appreciate it and remember to just live love laugh you guys grow stuff and eat it now let me find this button